Excel dot plots, dumbbells, and lollipop charts are good for comparing one, two, or three points of data. Dot plots are flexible and easy to read. We are more accurate at interpreting dots on a line than we are at judging length, for example, in a bar chart. The dot plot does allow for a better comparison between two points as opposed to a side-by-side -side bar. In this video tutorial, we are going to cover all the details on how to create a dot plot chart and a dumbbell chart. So, let's dive in! My data table is shown here. I have five categories of a supermarket two columns, one with values for 2018 sales target and one with values for 2019 sales target in thousands. Also, I have a column with dot spacing values. The spacing simply assigns each category to a row in your chart, so they are nicely vertically distributed. We can change the spacing to suit your needs. To make the graph in Excel, first I select 2018 sales target and its values and holding down the control key, then dot spacing and its values and insert a scatter chart from insert tab. The dot spacing values push the 2018 sales target values onto separate equally dispersed lines. Right click on the graph, choose select data. In that dialog box, edit the name of this series so that it points to the cell that contains the word 2018 sales target. Then click add to make a new series for 2019 sales target. As series name, highlight C1 cell. As series X values, highlight the cells from C2 to C6. As series Y values, highlight the cells from D2 to D6. Press OK. Delete the vertical grid lines and delete also the vertical axis. If you want to emphasize the difference between the dots, you can set the horizontal axis minimum to something closer to the lowest value in your data set. So right click on horizontal axis, format axis and type a value in minimum bounce box. I've set mine to 5 and maximum to 16. Since the dots will all be labeled with their values, we really don't need the X axis at all, but it may help credibility to have the X axis in there as an anchor. However, we don't need to have all of the intervals along the X axis, so change the major units from 2 to 5. Close the format axis pane. Next, format each set of scores so they look like big dots. Right click on one set and select format data series. From fill and line, look for market options. You will want to check the radio button next to build in. Then choose the circle shape from the drop down menu. Change the size to 20. Set the fill to white. and make the border thicker. Do the same with the other set. Great! 
While the markers are highlighted, add data labels. Right click on the markers and select add data labels. Excel labels the dots with the dot spacing values. Right click again on these values and select format data labels. Align them center and format them to display the X value. Uncheck Y value. Make them bold and size 10. Do the same with the other set. Finally, there are a few ways to get the subject area labels in the graph. We can insert linked text boxes right inside the chart, like this. Insert a text box, link it with A2 cell, make some formatting, And it's ready. Hold down the control key and now you can copy this text box to other dot plots and change the cell link. Another way is to add a label from Format Data Labels pane. Check the value from Cells box and select as data rates the cells from A2 to A6. You can align them left, right or even below and you will do the same with the other set. Do whatever works best for you. Now let's move on the dumbbell charts. Dumbbell.plots, also known as connected dot plots, have an advantage over the regular dot plot. The line that connects each pair of dots emphasizes their distance. Dumbbell charts require the same steps as the dot plot, but you delete the horizontal grid lines and replace them with error bars. But to make the error bars, you will need two more columns, positive error and negative error. Let's create them. Type positive error in cell E1 and negative error in cell F1. Positive error is the subtraction between 2019 minus 2018 sales target values. Go to cell E2 and type equal C2 minus B2. Copy all the way down. Negative error is the opposite. Go to cell F2 and type equal B2 minus C2. Copy the formula to the other cells. Now replace all the negative numbers with zeros. To add error bars, select the 2018 dots. Click on the plus icon, it's the chart elements, then the little arrow beside the error bars and more options. This will open the error bar formatting dialog box or pane. First you have to delete the vertical portion of the error bars. 
Select percentage. Choosing percentage ensures a horizontal error bar is inserted. Now, from error bar options, select the horizontal error bar. As end style, select no cap. And as error amount, select custom. Click the specify value button and select the positive error values E2 to E6 and the negative error values F2 to F6 from the table. Press OK. Delete the horizontal grid lines of the chart and move the category labels near the dots. From View tab, remove the grid lines of the chart. Let's remove also the border of the chart. The dumbbell chart is ready. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I want to thank you for watching it. And I will see you in the next video. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about Excel's chart, graphs and data visualizations, check out my Udemy course. There is a discount code link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to get updates. Bye!